welcome to ADF 4 News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Nigerians resident in the federal capital territory, Abuja, have reacted to the new Central Bank of Nigeria policy to slash charges by financial institutions with effect from January 1, 2020. The charges include a withdrawal fee charged for the use of other banks' automated teller machines reduced from 65 naira to 35 naira. Also affected is the card maintenance fee that was reduced to a maximum of 50 naira per quarter as against the initial charge of 50 naira per month. Similarly, the point of sale fee of 50 naira has also been stopped. The report. About the new bank charges, Actually, the amount is a little bit higher. Charging me, normal CBN, you have one central post, central bank, which is the CBN. They also have gotten their charges from those aspects. They don't, they don't even need to charge me from using another ATM because it's still the same bank. I'm so happy. At least I can withdraw from any bank and the charges won't be that much. Uh, talking about the CBN, uh, new directives to bank, uh, reducing the bank charges for ATM and other uh, bank facilities to customers. Uh, incidentally, I'm just coming from an ATM and uh, I've had to pay like four times because the bank uh, deliberately uh, put 10,000 error. I think it's a welcome development if they can maintain that. It's a welcome development. European Union member countries have been called upon by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to share the burden of the influx of refugees on the continent. He said that Turkey will not accept many refugees in the event of an influx of refugees to his country's borders. Erdogan disclosed that 80,000 refugees from Idlib, northwestern Syria, are already marching towards the Turkish border. He therefore urged the European Union to take appropriate actions to address the refugee crisis in the continent. Presently, Turkey hosts 3.6 million Syrian refugees, making it the world's top refugee hosting nation. You're watching AD4 TV radio news update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. We will go on a short break now. More stories when we return. Do stay. AD4 TV radio, we focus on education with emphasis on research and innovation, science and technology, women and girl child education, children, health, youths and sports, socio-political and economic reforms, security, environment, entrepreneurship and entertainment will give you information at your fingertips. Learn on the go. Follow AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube. AD4 TV Radio. Reliable and credible. We love you, AD4 TV Radio. Thanks for staying tuned. The Executive Secretary of Nigeria's Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Professor Suleiman Elias Bogoro, says that fund will use 4 billion naira to fund 128 research projects and programs proposed by academics from Nigeria's tertiary institutions. Bogoro disclosed this while briefing the press in Abuja, Nigeria. He said the fund is dissatisfied with the issue of stranded Nigerian scholars abroad and has since used the sum of 7.2 billion to address the problem. Uh, specifically, there were a number of distortions that I met on ground regarding policies and the most staring of all of them was the issue of uh, what has become ignobly the so-called stranded scholar issue. It set me making an aspect that ordinarily wouldn't be a priority, the very first priority as I returned, because we had what I never knew at my time called stranded scholars. Between 2014 and 2016, there wasn't anything like that. Uh, we knew there were some issues, naturally, there will be, but not to the extent where. I came and discovered that uh, there were protests by some scholars in even some embassies uh, abroad. I talked about numbers uh, of scholars. I know that by the time we had spent 
7.2 billion. That's almost a month ago, that figure that we are spent in sorting out the stranded scholars. Um, we had have, we have sorted out over 1,000. We had sorted out over 1,000 at that time. But uh, the number had declined. So it's a, it's a pyramid. We started slowly, the number shot up, and now it's coming down. That's to say we are virtually solving the problem. The flagrant disregard of traffic lights in Nigeria's capital city of Abuja is an issue that is causing the police and other traffic regulators sleepless nights, considering the toil on human lives resulting from road crashes and damage to public infrastructure. In spite of the installation of this critical facility to control free flow of traffic in Abuja's major highways, it has been observed that motorists display a notorious disregard of decency in not complying with the traffic light without facing appropriate sanctions leading to the pervasive disobedience of traffic light by unrepentant motorists in Abuja. 84 TV Radio reports. People are not paying traffic light in Abuja because they are not, I don't know, I would I will say that uh, maybe stubbornness or Nigeria stupidity that are disturbing us. In abroad, they can't do that nonsense because in Nigeria, they believe that anybody who just buy a car is now a big man and is a, he, he can't obey law. First of all, a big man in, in Abuja here, no matter how, even though the traffic light is working, they do normally obey traffic lights, which is bad. Because maybe they are in government or I don't know. Some of the traffic lights are not working and some that are working, the, some drivers disobey the traffic light. But I think the major, the, the, the major cause is I think the setting of the, of the, of the light, the numbering, they should regulate the numbers, one. Secondly, the, 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 there should also be good a kind of uh, public enlightenment to people, to drivers, to, uh, to you know, educate them more. That's it in 84 News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. You can also like and subscribe to our YouTube page at 84TV Radio. Follow us on social media at 84TV Radio on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. Many thanks for watching. I am Merciful Ajinomo.